Listen very, very closely. It's incredibly muffled at the beginning, but you'll be able to hear two young men, college age students at a Kamala Harris rally shout, Jesus is Lord and wait for her response. Oh, you guys are at the wrong rally. No, I think you meant to go to the smaller one down the street. You guys are at the wrong rally is the immediate response from the potential next president of the United States to a young man in the crowd exclaiming, Jesus is Lord. And not only does she have the audacity to respond with, you're at the wrong rally. Did you listen to the cheers and the laughter from the crowd? Un- freaking believable. But amazingly, this has been fact-checked because these two young men, Luke and Grant, who are current college students, joined Fox News the following morning, yesterday, Sunday, October 20th, to describe why they were at the Kamala Harris rally, why they said what they did, and what the experience was like being then kicked out of Kamala's rally for saying Jesus is Lord. Watch this. We remember Donald Trump hand selected three members of the United States Supreme Court with, with the intention that they would undo the protections of Roe v. Wade, and they did as he intended. Oh, you guys are at the wrong rally. You can hear it really, really, really clearly there. One young man said, Christ is king. The other one said, Jesus is Lord. Their clip has much better sound quality. And the response was, oh, you guys are at the wrong rally. What has happened over the last several months is Kamala Harris gaslighting and shaming the American people into buying into every aspect of her agenda as people of faith as Christians, because that's just what you're supposed to do. Does no one recall the ridiculous amount of gaslighting that's been happening over the past several months with this woman telling you it's not abandoning your faith to believe that a woman should have an abortion for any reason or no reason whatsoever through all nine months of pregnancy? To support, essentially, infanticide of children is your duty as a person of faith. Does no one recall that? Because I seem to remember that literally just being said for the 18th millionth time on Call Her Daddy last week. But our attention span is just that short. Mm -hmm. Today, we'd like to bring in those students who yelled that out to Kamala Harris. And two pro-life students university, at the University of Wisconsin La Crosse, both juniors, uh, Luke Pulaski and Grant Beth, join us now. Luke, Grant, thanks for being with us this morning. Um, Luke, I'll start with you. Just take us into that moment. What, what happened yesterday? We see the video clip. Is there any more you can tell us about what you guys had to say and what happened afterwards from that video? Thank you. Uh, yeah, it's great to be here. Um, I would say the first thing uh, I want to bring up, this is our first time taking an interview with anybody, and I think it's important because this is our raw, like, untold story. There's a lot happened that, lot that happened off camera uh, that we said at the protest and or well while we were protesting and i guess we could start off with when she after she talked about overturning roe v wade and donald trump i yelled out to the crowd that abortion is the sacrament of satan and when i said that i deeply do believe that as a christian and about 10 seconds go by and that's when the video of uh, my friend grant and i uh proclaiming that christ is lord and jesus is king uh when we said that and i think it's important to say this is a small venue and we we're about 20 to 30 yards away from kamala at this point there's a lot of controversy that says she wasn't talking to us or we left we didn't get kicked out well i can speak on grant and i's behalf um on video grant's getting pushed and shoved and um there's about five seconds after 
or, or before she tells us to go to the smaller rally down the street, you can see on the video she waves. She waves. She was actually waving to me. I uh, took this cross off my neck that I wear, and as we were getting asked to leave, um, I held it up in the air and waved at her and pointed to her, and she looked directly in the eye, kind of gave me an evil smirk, and um, yeah, I just want to clear that up and confirm that she 100% was talking to us. Mm -hmm. And there's other controversy that says we left. Um, we were getting shouted at, pushed, assaulted, um, screamed at. So we were walking away, but there was about three um, attendees there, volunteers that kicked us out with press with badges or whatever they had. And I specifically remember this one man saying, you were uninvited and unwelcome to this event. You need to leave. And all they did was walk us out the door. They didn't tell us why. No cops escorted us out. Uh, no secret service. And uh, yeah. That's our story. This is an event held at the University of Wisconsin Lacrosse. These students pay tuition to attend this event, and yet they are told by the Democrat Party, you're not invited, you're not welcome here. GTFO, essentially, if you are going to say Christ is King, Jesus is Lord. When people tell you who they are, believe them, America. I've said that infinity times leading up to the November 5th election, that these people, the Democrat leftist elites, are telling you louder and louder and louder with every passing day, the quiet part out loud. They actually believe you have no home as a God-fearing Christian in the Democrat party. You were not invited. You are not welcome. We will escort you out now. Are you paying attention? Because just as we've been warning about the disgusting inherent attack on free speech and freedom of expression by censoring misinformation and hate speech that is guaranteed to come on day one of a Kamala presidency, you can bet your butt that Christianity will be attacked as well. That your faith will be mocked, censored, and persecuted to levels never before seen in modern American history under a Kamala presidency. For what reason? I don't know. Hate speech, probably. But they are telling you now what they think of you. Believe them. And I cannot recommend, if you guys haven't already made prayer a part of your daily routine, downloading the world's largest Christian prayer app, Hallo, H-A-L-L-O-W. They have more than 10,000 original prayers, meditations, history podcasts, lifestyle podcasts, mental health resources, everything you can possibly imagine that has totally transformed my prayer life and that of almost every single one of you as well. Hallo is offering you a three-month free trial to all of the incredible content on their platform. If you go right now to hallow.com slash Isabel, H-A-L-L-O-W.com slash Isabel. And our friends over at Public Square, America's largest leading marketplace for small businesses that are all pro-family, pro-faith, and pro-freedom and pro-actual science, by the way, actually got their start out in the beautiful state of California. They are changing how we spend money in America one day at a time, realizing that where we spend our dollars is where culture is going to thrive. If you are looking for businesses to support that share your values, check them out at publicsquare.com. And if you are a business owner of any kind, make sure you add your small business to Public Square to connect with customers who share your values too. I'm so glad by the way, that there are companies that are trying to get to the actual truth of matters like this and in standing for women in general, just one of which happens to be my amazing friends over at Garnu. Garnu is the only period product company on the market that insists only women can menstruate. Thank you for that, by the way, Garnu, because we need a whole lot more of that. And their pads, their tampons, and their menstrual cup products are all 100% organic and completely non-toxic. I have noticed a huge change in my cycle since switching to Garnu products, and I cannot begin to recommend them enough to you, especially after we just found out that most leading tampon brands have arsenic and lead in them if you're buying them at Target or the grocery store. You can get a discount on your first order to Garnier if you click the link in the description of this video and please 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 embrace the same courage that they are in standing up for real womanhood in 2024 and beyond.